we use boolean value value boolean type so preselect i'm going to call, call it preselection and and connect with with this input right uh, and of course i shouldn't forget it should be part of ui and the last element I'm going to add to this really simple script is my watch note, right? And like I was saying, custom note, a custom name. Right, and is output. So I can save it. I can save it with, uh, yeah, the script will be called selection. So when I'm, when I open Dynamo Player, if, if I have, oh wow, if I have, my, um, oh, in Dynamo Player, you can specify a folder where your scripts uh, are located, right? So the number of scripts, uh, for every single script you, script, you will get a corresponding you know, item on a list in the Dynamo Player. So I already uh, have defined the, the right folder here. So that, that's why I have my script, uh, script we just you know, put together listed here. So when I click this icon, it allows me to see and adjust uh, the input parameters we just defined, right? Um, oh, we don't see. Oh, any anytime you would like to update your script, you can simply click Edit in Dynamo. Dynamo environment opens, and this is what I was saying. Then it's your, it, um, then it's your, uh, something went wrong with this node. Then it's your uh, environment to edit, not to execute. You should execute it in Dynamo Player. So, pre-selection. So this one will be pre-selection. And this input, I'm going to save it, refresh it, and there we go. My input uh, parameter for preselection is here. So right, so right now, so right now I'm going to run the script and take a look how my selection behaves in Revit. So when I hover over my elements. They don't highlight as long as I'm I, I'm not over, however, a mouse over my elements of the categories I, I specified in my de definition. So doors are highlighted, windows are highlighted, right? So I selected two of these elements. I click finish, and take a look. They are listed here, right? So. And what's also cool about this, you can pick elements. Uh, default Dynamo nodes, they will not allow you pick elements. You need to always use window selection. Window selection which, which is not filtered. So basically, how it works, it works in the following way. You, um, so you can do, you, do, uh, you select, you know, default selection would work like this. You select a bunch of elements, and as you can see here, I have selected not only windows and doors, I have some parts selected, gener gen generic models, etc. I think I selected, but I selected, um, yeah, four elements of, of my categories I have defined. But I can right now activate pre-selection. 
So now my preselection will be taken into account.